Hi everyone, it's Jessica here. Welcome to today's challenge. I hope you've been enjoying the other engineering at home challenges we've been doing. We've really enjoyed seeing everything you've been sharing with us on social media, so please keep sharing with us what you've been getting up to. The challenge we're gonna be doing today is the prosthetic hand. So you're gonna create something that's gonna look a little bit like this, and you're gonna be able to control with your hand. So the materials you're gonna need for the project today, again, you can find these in your recycling box. So have a dig around, have a look what you've got available. But you're gonna need some cardboard, a nice big sheet if you can. You're gonna need some straws as well, and some string. And then things to cut and stick all this together. So some scissors and some sellotape is what I've used today. So the first thing we're gonna do for this challenge today is we need to cut out our cardboard base for our hand. So decide which hand you'd like to use and then you can draw around this and cut it out. So once you have your base cut out for your hand, you then need to fold the cardboard at each of the creases in your hand where your knuckles are, so your fingers on your hand are gonna bend the way that your hand does. Now you might find it helpful to give each finger a different colour and that way you can tell which parts are for which finger. Next we need to cut some straw to the length of each section of your fingers. Make sure you cut these pieces of straw slightly shorter than you think they need to be so there's plenty of space for the fingers to bend. Then you can secure the straw to your hand using some tape. Make sure that each piece of straw is secure so nothing can move around. Next you need to connect your fingers to your wrist using some more pieces of straw like you can see here. And then stick these in place as well. The next thing you're going to need is your string. You're going to need one piece per finger. Make sure the string stretches all the way from the finger dip down to the end of the wrist. Now I cut my string too short here as you're going to see later on in the video, so make sure you've got plenty extra hanging off the end of the wrist. And remember you're going to need one of these for each finger. Once you've cut the string to the right length, you can then thread this through the straws for each finger all the way down to the wrist. Then stick each piece of string to the back of the fingertips. Now the string is secure, when you pull the string from the front you'll see your fingers will start to bend. Now you may notice that one finger doesn't bend quite the way you want it to, like you can see here on my thumb. That's because the straws aren't quite short enough. There isn't enough space for the finger to bend without the straws touching. That's why it's really important to cut the straws slightly shorter than the section. Once you thread all five strings through the fingers, you're then going to need to gather them at the bottom in the wrist. So to do this, you want to make a bridge out of cardboard and you're going to stick this down on the wrist of your cardboard hand. Now the final thing we need to do is tie a loop in each of the pieces of string for each finger and that way you're going to be able to control your prosthetic hand. To make the loop, follow the video very carefully here. You can rewind and take it back if you need to watch it again. So you can see here that my string wasn't quite long enough for me to make a loop properly. So it's really important to make sure you have plenty of extra string at the end of each finger. And once we've done all that, we should have a hand a little bit like this. So you can see you can control each of the fingers individually by pulling on the strings below and that pulls all the way up the hand into the straws and bends the fingers. So feel free to get as creative as you like with this one. Make it colourful, make it look realistic, make it look like a robot hand, whatever you'd like to. We'd love to see what you guys come up with. So again, please take some photos and videos and share with us on social media and tune in next Wednesday for the next video.